ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and former President Donald Trump just absolutely torched Pencil Neck Adam Schiff. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. You know, sometimes I think that former President Trump would have had a career as a comedian if he wanted one. I've often said, I think that Andy Kaufman played the biggest trick in the world. He faked his death and came back as Adam Schiff. And if you look at side-by-side -side pictures of them, you'll understand why. But Trump had a different take on it. And, you know, and a new nickname for him, Watermelon Head, which, <laughs> which I found hilarious. So I want you to watch this clip of Trump taking apart shifty Adam Schiff. And then I want you to give me your comments on it. What do you think? Do you have any nicknames for Adam Schiff you want to share with us? Please let us know. Also remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. The stage because they are the most dishonest people on earth other than guys like Adam Schiff and, you know, Shifty Sh Pencil Neck. Pencil Neck! He's a marvel. No, he's a structural marvel. He has a neck, and his head is like a watermelon, and his neck. And how that neck can hold up that big, oversized, ugly head is hard to believe. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. The big head. It's like your finger on a basketball. Some of these guys, they spin it. No, no, he's a terrible guy. Think of it. Think of this, Chef. So they make up the Russia, Russia, Russia hoax. It's a, you know, it's, and by this time it was found out, and blah, blah, blah. Everyone knows it's a hoax, a scam. And, you know, it was originally used as a one-day deal to show that Hillary Clinton lost because of Russia, because they were embarrassed, because they weren't supposed to lose, but they lost. And so they made up this time that, that it was Russia. I said, Russia? What the hell did Russia have to do with it? And I meant that. So then it got carried away. It ended up being two and a half years because it got picked up by the fake news. They knew it was a scam. It got picked up by the... But think of it. Adam Schiff made it up, along with Hillary Clinton and some others, DNC, Democrats. And they made up this, this scam, dangerous scam, very dangerous. Amazing that, you know, fortunately, I knew Putin very well, and we had a little bit of a, a relationship. He couldn't believe it. He said, what the hell is going on with your country? They make up this scam, and then he comes out of a room. So he knows it's made up, and he has a news conference with a lot of press, and I'm watching this, and he goes, Donald Trump Jr. will go to prison because of what he did with Russia. Now, talking about my son is going to go to prison because of something they know is a total hoax. It's not like they believed it was maybe true. They knew it was because they made it up. It was a scam. It was written. No, think of it. And he's saying, think of it, you have a son. And I called up my son. I said, are you okay? He says, yeah, I don't know anything about Russia. What's going on? He knew nothing about Russia. This guy in the fourth row right here, he knows more about Russia than my son knew. <laughs> and but think how bad you have to be as a person to do that. So he's got a scam. They know it's a scam. It's a made-up story to try and justify why she lost, okay? She lost because she had no personality. She lost for a lot of reasons. No, th <laughs> they said she's... Well, that too, I would say. This. She's evil. That's interesting. But, but what kind of a human being would say, we're going to put somebody in prison because of something that we made up that we know is a phony thing? Bad people, right, Steve? Bad people, you know? Yeah.